Welcome to the Snow Park series by Angela Harney, Session 6, Save a Snow Park Data Frame to Snowflake. Watch all videos in this series in order to complete an entire solution for Snow Park. Angela Harney is a data engineer with extensive years of experience and is certified in Snowflake. We will be modifying a data frame, saving one, and creating a Snowflake table with results. The videos in this series are intended for you to be able to pause the video and follow the steps in detail on each slide. Data frames can be shaped to add columns containing complex calculations or other columns necessary for downstream input. In this example, a column is added using the with column method. The first parameter is the name of the new column. The second parameter contains the value to populate the column with. If you want to use existing columns, you can refer to them using a col definition with parentheses and the column name in double quotes within the parentheses. Scala uses double quotes rather than single quotes for strings. The View Debug Console will display the new column along with the query results that were ran. A data frame can be saved to a new Snowflake table. A new table can be created or appended to. This is done using the .saveAsTable method, with the parameter being the name of the table to be created in Snowflake. Query Snowflake before running the application to see that the table does not exist then execute the application, you will notice in the debug console, the results will show a create or replace table method has been called. Now when Snowflake is queried, the table results are returned. 